Amy and it's Toy Tuesday and I'm talking today I'm going to be talking about a toy line that I really love that I've collected over the last 20 years. Um, the toy line is, come, is from Playing Mantis and this is a toy line from the original 1964 version of the Rankin and Bass Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer special um, and it can be a little confusing um, because it started out with the uh, the toy line playing mantis. It started out with a few figures, um, and it changed hands a few times. So I'm going to explain when it changed hands and how it changed hands, um, how you can tell what the packaging is. Um, but it's a little confusing. There's not a lot about it on the internet, um, and because it's Christmas time, I thought this would be a good time to talk about this toy set. Um, but there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of information on the internet about this. Um, I did do a, a blog about it back in 2014. I will repost that on my blog. There, there's, there's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot on the internet about this. So I did a lot of research. Uh, it was really hard to find information. Um, but I will repost that in case anybody's interested in any of the information. So these are the, so the original figures were, and I'm going to try to do this because last time I knocked them down, um, the retape. But, um, so the original figures from Playing Mantis were, I believe, Mrs. Claus, and she comes, so each one of these comes with a misfit toy, and I'll, I'll show those in a little bit. But the original toys came, uh, they came out in 2001, um, and they're very detailed. Um, the only thing I noticed, too, about after watching this, and I've had her for almost 20 years, and I noticed that her hair is really purple. Um, but in the movie, she's, she has more of a blackish kind of a hair color. So I'm not sure what that what that's all about. Um, but she was one of the original figures. This is Mrs. Claus. And she comes with a bowl. I am missing the spoon. I've moved twice. I've moved from New York to home to Massachusetts, then to California and back. So a few pieces are missing. I'm still trying to find them. Um, they've been a little difficult to find. So this is Mrs. Claus. And Mrs. Claus came with the fish that doesn't fly, it swims. So this is the bowl. If anybody's looking for the bowl, I have a really hard time finding this bowl, um, but I found it last year. So this is the bowl that it comes with. And the fish doesn't fly, he swims, so he fits in the little bowl. That came with Mrs. Claus. And then, of course, we have Rudolph. I don't know where he went. He fell down somewhere. Oh, here he is, put it right here. So here's Rudolph. Now, this is the original Rudolph. I believe I got this one in 2001. His nose does shine. It does glow. Um, if you press his tail down in the back, um, his batteries do have to uh, be changed every couple of years. I did have to change his battery this year. Um, so his nose does glow. Usually I get one piece a year. Um, I asked for one um, and I've got almost everything. I'm missing a few elves. I'm missing one Santa Claus and I'm missing a couple of play sets. But other than that, I have almost all of them. So, and then we also have the Yukon Cornelius back here, who's got all kinds of uh, tools. Now this is the, this was the play set with the sled. So this is actually different um, than the original. So what they did was, first they came out with the, um, with the, with just the regular figures. So you could just buy Mrs. Claus, and her swimming fish, or you could just buy Cornelius, um, and that was in 2001. And those packaging, and you'll see this on my written blog, that packaging came with the name Playing Mantis, and it also has a red stripe across the box with the name of the character. So that's the first thing. Then in 2003, I believe, um, they changed the name of the company, or they branded uh, Playing Mantis branded the line to Memory Lane. Um, in Memory Lane, it was the same characters, um, but um, oops, let me knock out my door. They were the same characters. So even if you did buy Memory Lane and you did, or you bought a Playing Mantis, it's the same character. It's just a different. It's under a different brand name. So that's when they really, you know. They, and they continued this for a few years. And then um, they came, I believe in 2003, they also came out with play sets. 
So, and I'll move some of these around so you can see the play sets. Um, so, one of these play sets, oops, I'm going to knock all these down. They're they're, they have very small legs, so they do tend to fall down. And if you have cats, I was going to bring my cat out here, but unfortunately she would have just knocked them all down. Um, so I, I put her away for a, a minute. Um, but they do fall down a lot. What I do is I put uh, museum wax under their feet. And that usually tends to help them stay up, stand. They do fall over though. I use this thin uh, material that you can probably get at like Michael's or Joann's. It's easier than the fluffy snow because um, I've used this enough fluffy snow before and they do not stand up on the fluffy snow. So this is a nice white, um, looks like snow, but it's very thin. So they can stand on this. Um, some of them, like I said, their legs are really small. So they're very, you can stand them up, but they tend to fall back down. So. 15 million times during Christmas, I end up putting them back up, um, especially with the cat. Um, some pieces have gone missing. I still haven't found my raccoon from a couple years ago that came with Clarice, who's right here. This is Clarice and the raccoon. I'm missing the raccoon. I don't know what happened to it. It'll probably be found someday in my mom's apartment. Um, but these are the figures. Um, so then in, 19, in 2003, um, they also came out with a line uh, through Playing Mantis called The Island of Misfit Toys. And those were play sets. So, and the, the problem with these two is that, you know, if you got Yukon Cornelius, but then you wanted a sled, you'd end up with two Yukon Corneliuses because you'd buy the sled and then you have an extra Yukon Cornelius. Um, but that's fine. Um, I have two Yukon Corneliuses because I was missing one of his snowshoes. And I had to buy it last year because he wouldn't stand up. Um, and I'm going to have to do that eventually. There's another playset that I really love um, that I'm going to get eventually. And it's the pond when Hermie and Rudolph are walking through the forest back from uh, the reindeer games. <coughs> and they're walking and they're singing a song. <coughs> and um, they come upon this pond and the fish heads come up out of the pond. That's one of the places I don't have, but unfortunately it does come with an extra Hermie. I believe it also comes with a Rudolph. Um, so I'm probably gonna have an extra Rudolph, an extra Hermie, which I can always use. Um, so this is one of the play sets that I was lucky enough to get through a friend of mine, who was my nurse, um, because I do, I am sick, uh, and I can have a nurse that comes out and gives me treatments every three weeks. So. Um, she she went to Savers uh, back in, had to be 2016, and she went to Savers and she found this set um, out of the box. I think it was still in the box, but all the pieces were there. So this is one of the sets um, from the Island of Misfit Toys. And this is the cave um, that Rudolph was born in. And you've got Mr. Donner here, and you've got Mrs. Donner, and you've got two, uh, you've got two trees, two Christmas trees. And then you've got the cave, and the cave comes in two pieces, and you just put it together, and they all fall over. <clears throat> but the cool thing about the cave, and it's very detailed, um, and the cool thing about the cave was that I bought this, or my, fr my friend of mine bought it for me, but it didn't come with the little Rudolph, but that was okay, because I already had that. So I had the little Rudolph, where is he, right here. So I have the Rudolph family right here, and the... Mr. Donner keeps falling down. And he, it talks. So there's a little white button on the side. And it says things from that part of the movie. He's got a shiny nose. And I thought this is really cool. And I think she only paid like five bucks for it, five or seven bucks for it. And I was so excited. Um, so that's the cave. And you can put them in the cave like they were um, in the movie. And I like to keep the pieces of the sets together like they were in the movie. Um, I like to keep the family together. Um, I like to keep the Island of Misfit Toys together. Um, so I do have the Island of Misfit Toys here. I like to keep kind of younger, playful Rudolph, mid, 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 midlife Rudolph, um, teen Rudolph with Hermie. Um, so these are the Island of Misfit Toys. So these all little, these pieces actually come with each, uh, with each character. So, Mrs., like I said, Mrs. Claus came with 
the bird who didn't sit uh, fly, he swam. So she came with him, and here's her bowl, which I really like her when she holds her bowl. Um, and then I believe I got this one last year. So this is Comet, the jerky uh, reindeer who does the games. Um, so this is Comet. Oh, look, I didn't even realize this whistle is in his mouth. So this is Comet, and Comet came, I believe, with the boat that doesn't float, it sinks. So he came with that. Um, Rudolph, oops, so they, they fall over so easily. Um, gotta be really careful. Um, but they've lasted 20 years, so they're really, they're a really good, really, you know, good quality product. Um, so Rudolph, with the blinky nose, he came with the dolly who doesn't um, say mama. She says, uh, I do. Or no, she says, yes, she says, how do you do? Um, and there's always been a controversy in my family, why, what she said. Um, and I, there's also another blog that I did a few years ago about her and the, the mystery behind her, because we were always debating in my family what was her problem? What was wrong with her? Did she just, did she not? Because in, in the end of the movie, she says she has no tears to cry, so she does, does she not cry? Or does she say, I do, or how do you do instead of mama? So that's one of the things um, that I did a blog about. But she came with Blinky Nose Rudolph. Um, trying to think what else came with what. So he came with Comet. Um, this is one of the elves. He's very, very hard to stand up, so I have to lean him against something. His legs are really um, flimsy. Um, but I believe he came with a bunch of presents because he's the one that holds the presents at the end and falls over. There are a few other elves, like I've said, but I don't have them. There's a girl elf. There's a boy elf. There's a big elf. Um, there's an aviator elf. This is called the tall elf. Um, he's the one with the glasses. So I believe, I don't know where this came from, I'm not sure who this came with, but I have two other Island of Misfit toys, and I don't remember who they came with. Um, this is, this is, I believe it's called, I think it's Skinny, Sa or Skinny Santa, so this is Skinny Santa, and I think he actually came with the baby Rudolph, um, so that's Skinny Santa, he's also very hard to stand, he needs wax because he, he'll fall over. This is regular Santa with his, his, this is jolly fat Santa with his bag. He also does come with a Santa hat. Um, so this is his Santa hat. Um, and I don't know what he came with, but I have Charlie in the box. And I think Charlie in the box came with Hermie. I believe he came with Hermie. I can't remember because I've had him for a long time. And this is Hermie. Hermie all came, comes with um, a book. Oops. A book about dentistry. And he also comes with, where's the hammer? He comes with a hammer that's somewhere. So this is the hammer that he comes with and you can put it in his hand. Um, he also came with two bumble teeth that somehow got lost um, between the moves from God knows where I moved from New York to Mass to New York to Los Angeles back to Mass from my mom's place here. So I am missing a couple of um, Hermie teeth, uh, bom uh, excuse me, abominable teeth with Hermie. Um, so that's what he comes with. Um, I believe he came with the Jack, with the Charlie in the box. Um, and then this is Clarice who becomes Rudolph's girlfriend and who Rudolph saves. Uh, or Hermine saves, and she came with the little rabbits um, that are in the beginning of the uh, beginning of the movie, um, and the raccoons. So I put those I put those over here by the trees. Um, so I don't remember where this came from. This might have come from uh, might have been Skinny Sam. No, because he, he came with little Rudolph. So I'm not sure where this came from. It might have been Sam. So this is Sam the Snowman. And he's very detailed. He looks like Sam the Snowman. He's a little heavy. Um, he's easy to stand. He doesn't fall over. But he comes with his um, 
banjo, and he comes with his umbrella. Um, so that's Sam the Snowman. Um, and then we've got back here, we've got another playset that I that I originally received at Christmas years ago in 2000, I think in 2003. Um, this is, and I'll move this over, move all these over. Um, this is Yukon Cornelius, and Yukon Cornelius in the sled, I want to take him out too much because and the only way you can stand up Yukon Cornelius is if you put if you pile everything up on the sled if you don't pile up everything on the sled Yukon Cornelius falls backwards um so we try to I try to with the weight of the sled um the dogs can become tangled but he's got all of his dogs um from his dog sled um he's got all of his signature pieces he's got a can um a canteen He's got a suitcase, he's got a guitar, he's got bags of whatever, um, and he's got a shovel. He's got his gun, um, he's got his hatchet, he's got all of his stuff on his backpack. Um, I don't really touch him, I don't take his stuff off, so it's kind of stayed there. But like I said, I was missing a snowshoe, so I had to replace that, so I had to buy a second Yukon Cornelius. Um, so these were pretty much... Up until 2005, these were what, what had come out. So they were under the name of Playing Mantis. Um, or, if you could find the older ones from 2001, um, I'm sorry, uh, Memory Lane. So the first ones were Playing Mantis, the second ones were Memory Lane, and then then there was the, the sets. Um, there is another set, I believe there's a Santa Claus, and he comes with the whole reindeer. Um, don't have him yet. But he, um, I will eventually get that. But the same thing will happen. I'll have to buy that. And it'll be a, a second Santa Claus. So then, that, and then in 2005, the company was sold to RC2. And it was renamed Forever Fun. And Forever Fun created the same characters, but their packaging was a little different. Um, and... It was a red packaging. So if you do get it forever fun, just understand that you can put these figures up, it's fine, um, but they are not really the originals. So I tend not to go after those um, unless they're pieces that I don't have. Um, and I'll give you an example. So this is the foreman elf, um, the one that teaches them how to sing and uh, he's the foreman for all their toy making um, and the one that fires for me. Um, he's pretty cool, he looks the same. Um, he's got, uh, He's, he's really detailed. So he came in a set that I bought at Newberry Comics in Massachusetts and a, a few years ago that I found. The only thing I don't like about this set is that it did come with this, which I did grab. I like the drum. It comes with a drum and music, but it's not very detailed because if you look at this elf, Nowhere in the movie did the elves wear red. They always wore this blue color. This was this is one of the elves. This is what the elves dress like, and for some reason they changed the colors to red. So even though he's in my he's in my playset, he's not one of my favorites. But he's still an elf, so I'll still have him in here. Um, but he's just an example of why I rather collect the forever the playing mantis. Um, uh, or the uh, memory lane. Um, so there are a couple other characters, like I said. There's a few more elves. Um, they're not that expensive. They run about they run about maybe thirty dollars a piece. Um, and like I said, I get one every year. We found one uh, a few weeks ago on my birthday um, when we went to a comic book store. I was really lucky. We went to a comic book store in Somerville, Mass. Um, and they had one, one that I was looking for that I didn't have. So that's going to be my new toy, one of my toys for Christmas. Um, and I'm lack surprised. Um, but it'll be Rudolph, but it's adult Rudolph. So he'll have big antlers like, like Comet here, but his nose will light up. And I believe he also comes with a Misfit toy. And I think he comes with one of the, um, the piece of the train uh, that has the uh, square wheels. 
Um, but this is a really cool set. Um, I know some people have gone crazy for them. Um, I remember back in 2003 when I went to get one, or a few of them, at Toys R Us in Times Square when I was living in New York, and I had a guy come out, and this is in my blog, and I had a guy come out and had a bunch of them in his arms, and he was in his 50s, and he was like, I have to get these, because if I don't get these now, they're going to get sold out. And I was like, okay, dude. Um, but uh, they're a really good set. They're fun uh, at Christmas time. I usually, I usually put them downstairs in a box at Christmas, and I only bring them out at Christmas, and I set them up. Um, but this is the Playing Mantis uh, Memory Lane um, Forever Fun uh, set. So um, Merry Christmas, Happy Festivus, um, Happy Hanukkah, um, and Happy Toy Tuesday. So make, make sure to follow me on my blog, uh, my written and my uh, toy blog. Um, subscribe to me. And you can follow me on Twitter, uh, on Facebook, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, okay? Bye, guys, and happy ho holidays.